Hi everyone, welcome back to Game Hole Con 2021 here on Demiplane. We've had such an amazing two days. Myself and my other hosts, B. Dave Walters and Adam Bradford, we have just had the best time. I think you can see them. You can see their faces. You see the good times that they're having right now? Look at Adam. Adam's <laughs> having all the fun. <laughs> this has been remarkable and such a big um, breath of fresh air. And I would like to say thank you all for being here with us for the last two days. This is the final game. Dun, dun, dun. dun, dun what dun, could dun. happen? Literally anything. Because it's 10 p.m. Central. And we're all exhausted and we're feeling a little wily. Um, today we're raising money for Extra Life on Twitter. That is at Extra Life for Kids. And please donate. Uh, please donate to support children's hospitals and to give our players a couple different things. $20 will give them a re-roll, and you guys can't see them, but please, um, everyone in the audience, applaud yourselves. For yeah, yeah. 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 Thank you so much. Um, you all can also participate, so if you have your phones out, I will not be offended and think that you're just checking Facebook or Twitter, um, but you can also donate and you can affect the game live. So $20 for re-rolls, $50 for auto crits, $250 for monster attacks to the party, or monsters that help the party. Uh, 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 and I have one better. This one came from Dr. Megan Connell. This is $1,000 and Strahd shows up. <laughs> I will call Jason Carl. I will get him on the phone. To, that would be amazing. It's his birthday for a thousand bucks for sick kids. I will get Jason Carl oh on the phone gosh, to be Strahd. Yes. Yes. Somebody donate a thousand dollars and we will randomly manage. Yeah, we're going to interrupt him on his birthday. Yeah, no, I would do it for a thousand bucks for sick children. I would do it. I would interrupt him on his you birthday. You should yes. warn him. He'll just right. walk he down. Yeah. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yes, and thank you all for being here. But before we begin, I would like to introduce our amazing players. We're going to start over on B-Day's end. I also am not looking at Facebook. I do have my character sheet on the phone, so just saying that now, <laughs> that when you guys are like, what is he doing? Um, freely... Uh, well, Freely is a bard, warlock, paladin, sorcerer, so there's a lot of options that he has. Um, and I wasn't kidding when I said I've got 12 different versions of this character, so I'm like, what can he do at 10? Okay, got it. Uh, B. Dave Walters, I do that. Uh, I play, uh, you can find me wherever fine streaming content can be located. I play D&D wherever people will let me. Uh, my main character that I play is Freely the Lucky Boy, who is a halfling who was just born lucky, has no idea how his powers work, he just hits bad things and explosions go off, and that's uh, pretty much where we are. <laughs> Thanks. Hey everybody, I'm Jameson Stone, I'm the founder and CEO of Apotheosis Studios. It's also an honor and a pleasure to be married to Satine Phoenix. Um, we're really excited to bring you Satine's Quest. We also have Sirens Battle of the Bards, which we will be experiencing here. Uh, we also have The Red Opera, Last Days of the Warlock. And coming soon, we have a new paladin book called Oath of the Paladin. But right now, you can learn more about our really cool deck of tarot cards. It's called The Red Opera Deck of Endless Possibilities at theredopera.com. Thank you. You are a wonderful speaker. I have to follow that. Okay, hi everybody. I'm Elisa Teague. I am senior producer of role-playing games over at Renegade Game Studios. Currently, I'm working on the G.I. Joe, Power Rangers, Transformers, and My Little Pony role-playing games. I also so oversee uh, World of Darkness 5th edition for Renegade Game Studios. We just announced that Hunter 5th uh, edition is coming out next year. Boo! Super cool. Uh, Boo! <laughs> they're coming for you. They're coming for you. Uh, and uh, Second Inquisition is coming first, the, the book. So, well, uh, you storytellers out there can use that. Um, and uh, I will also be joining these two on Satine's Quest, That's right. which I'm very excited about. Uh, you can find me everywhere at Geeky Pinup, and uh, I'm very excited to play. Um, the new fairy. Um, I haven't played a fairy yet before, so here we go. Yeah, thank you. Hey, how can I follow that? <laughs> uh, hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Latia Jacquees. You can find me at Latia Jacquees in most places where social media is found. Um, I am the community relations coordinator for Monty Cook Games. I am also a uh, freelance TTRPG writer and occasional streamer. Um, some of you may know me as Dahani on Rivals of Waterdeep, which you can watch on Sundays at 10 a.m. Pacific, noon Central. And I just kind of exist. <laughs> and 
I have no choice but to follow that because I'm the last one. <laughs> uh, so I am Adam Bradford, the Chief Development Officer at Vimy Plains. I play on Heroes of the Plains as Brood Steel Marrow. Uh, I'm not playing Brood tonight uh, because a subtler touch is needed, apparently. And so I am playing Razmataz, who is a court jester fool in the city of Salvada. You played him on my birthday. I did. Yeah. <laughs> I remember Razmataz. It's like, great. I didn't know you were playing the character. It's fun. Could I just say one thing before we dive in? You know, when we're doing charity games like this and we, you know, big dollar amounts get thrown around, and we're like $250, 1000 bucks. You know, there's been plenty of times in my life I didn't have an extra $5 to donate to something. So I just say every single bit counts. Every, literally every bit counts on Twitch. Every dollar counts. It all adds up. It all makes a difference for some children that really need our help. So. If you can, if you're able, please do help. If not, signal boost. If not tonight, Extra Life is in business, 365. So somewhere down the, down the line. Thank Donate you. Donate education. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, you will also be on Satine's Quest. I will, Satine's right. Quest. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be on a boat. With, uh, uh, yeah, come cruising with us. So <laughs> many amazing uh, game masters uh, and it's going to, it's like, it's an experience. It's not just That's fun, right. mm -hmm. uh, you know, Dungeons and Dragons. So yeah, absolutely should be checking out satinesquest.com. Speaking of Satin, hi everyone, I'm Satin. <laughs> <laughs> and I will be your dungeon master, right? About meow. And I've got house rules. Mm. Okay, everybody. I see some of you are smart and did not bring dice. Those of you who have, please hold them in the air. You want to see them? Oh, I wish Only I brought tangible dice. dice. Okay. If you drop your dice, you get disadvantage on your next roll. If I drop my dice, I also get disadvantage. And this one time I dropped six at once, so it does happen. <laughs> if you want to cast a spell, you can put them down now. Um, if you want to cast a spell, please have it in front of you, ready to go. If three people go at the same time and, and unify their abilities, you'll get something that I like to call triple advantage. Um, that is 3d20s, or we can work out together and negotiate what happens. Maybe that's more damage, or that's just a whole new thing that happens. Um, if you roll a one on your attack, please roll the damage and tell everyone how you hit yourself. <laughs> Important point of clarification, I'm a halfling, so I get to re-roll ones. Does this, uh, does this apply to me? Halfling luck, halfling luck. No, it doesn't apply to you. <laughs> yeah, Ooh. I'm already ahead. All right. If he rolls, re-rolls one, I will hit. That's true. <laughs> if I roll double ones, you get to hit me. Yes, definitely. And speaking of that, this is a playful game. So let's have fun and tell me what you want to do, and then I'll tell you what to roll or a series of rolls um, to get you to attempt to do it. Now, if you're all settled in, let's begin this game hole con adventure. The ceiling of a moving starscape is held up by four massive statues of gladiators in ornate armor. An eldritch blast flies by your heads and hits the invisible wall of force that protects the audience from the battle within the arena. Everyone, please roll initiative. We are going to oh. explain who you are and what you look like in the middle of oh battle. Surprise! <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Who do we have? Let's see. 20 and over. 24. Wow. I am a halfling of action. All right. <laughs> and what is your character's name? That is Freely. Freely. You just said that. I That's know. all right. You're doing a lot of things. Okay. Uh, 18, 19, 20, 15, 15, 15, 17. Okay. What? All right. Vajra. I don't know you. You're my husband. Vajra. Okay. 14, 13, 13. Okay, your character's name? Oleander. Oleander. That is so different than your vampire character. <laughs> <laughs> so you think. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. 13, 12, 11. 11. All right. Oh, no. <laughs> Razmataz. Raz for short, Taz for short, Ma for short. <laughs> Tamahaz. Mm -hmm. No? Okay. And. Nine. What is your character's name? Savvy. Savvy. Nice. Okay, here is the situation. You are fighting a dire beholder. Freely, uh, you are riding the beholder, holding on to two eye stalks. Yeah, well, that um, sounds like something I do. 
Vajra, you were hiding behind a fell pillar that was obviously placed there more for aesthetic than protection. With the oleander and rasmataz, you stand side by side in front of the beholder. And Savvy, you are unconscious under the beholder. Yep. <laughs> uh, everyone here, you are at half hit points, half spell slots. And like I said, um, Savvy, you are unconscious. So that is the scene. The crowd around you is going wild. It's been very exciting as you're in this coliseum. And we'll start with B. Dave. You can now explain what your character looks like and what they are doing in the scene. You have an explanation and a bunch of different types of actions. Uh, okay, so uh, Freely is a halfling, uh, but, but he is very tall for a halfling. Uh, he's got brown skin and bright red hair with green streaks through it. And he is weather, wearing leather armor, and he has a sword made out of a odd jet black material. Because um, it's made from a meteor. Um, and he is going to... Um, how, well, we're at half health, half spells. Yeah. Uh, I mean, how, how's the the beholder looking? I mean, is it? Is oh, it's it not good. It looks like its stocks are broken. A couple right. eyeballs are exploded. But, but, but Morris, Morris, we're just supposed to be putting on a show. You weren't supposed to knock her unconscious. What are you doing? <laughs> I, I will, um, while uh, trying to hold on to it. Um, I'm going to put my, my Hexblade Curse on it uh, as a bonus action. Actually, I won't Hexblade Curse this thing yet. This is early in the night. I'm going to hold on to it. Uh, but I will. Oh, at this young age, I only have one attack. Uh, I'm going to uh, Green Flame Blade him. And if I hit, I'm going to smite because that's what I do. Uh, that is not wonderful. That is going to be a 17. 17 will hit. Ah, I'm very good at this. Um, then... <laughs> Uh, then I'm going to, I'll just drop a level two smite on him, so. It's see. also a dire beholder. I just want everyone to know That's that. That's true. It is dire. dire well, okay, level it's three huge. smite. Level three smite. <laughs> 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 um, if you don't mind, I'll give you the damage in a second, because I'll right. have to combine my, my D8s over here. Sure. I'm missing a D8. Now, that's going to bother me for the rest Jameson of the night. Jameson has literally all dice I have, I have so many dice. dice. <laughs> <laughs> they take anything you need. You know, I, have, no, I, I appreciate that. All of the things. I'm, 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 I'm going to uh, I'm, I'm going to poach some dice over here. Well, But I'll, I'll get back to you with, all right, with my you go, considerable damage. We'll get back damage. to you. Vajra, Thank you. please uh, explain what you look like and what you're doing as you are hiding behind a fell pillar that was obviously placed there for more, than, more aesthetics than protection. So Vajra looks identical to me. Tattoos and everything, blue hair. His coat, however, is a little bit longer, and he is shirtless, exposing his runic tattoo on his chest. Vajra will be holding his great rune blade out in front of him, getting ready to channel haste on himself before he charges back into battle, knowing this pillar will not protect him. We will say that you already have haste. Fantastic. You would have done that earlier. Al already hasted. Um, who is the person currently unconscious? That would be Savvy. Savvy. Um, underneath. So... Literally under the beholder. Excellent. It's I, floating. I, I will then sheath my great rune blade, charge out while hasted, roll, pick up Savvy as I go, and roll out. And having two actions, one to pick up, the other to cast Revivify to bring Savvy back into the battle with us. Nice. Okay. Rolling a couple things here. Um, acrobatics to do the super roll. That is a natural 20. Hey. Oh. Hey. <laughs> I will say that you don't have to roll stealth because that's really awesome. Um, so I'll let you narrate how that looks, but please roll sleight of hand. That is a critical failure with a one. Hey. Oh. <laughs> but you look good doing it though. Yeah. Okay, and because you have two moves, I will say that when you got there, you cast Revivify. Mm. And yet, however, you rolled so well on your acrobatics that you just move all the way through. So please narrate what that looks like to everyone, because that's a crit on both sides. Excellent. So Vajra will roll, do a fantastic Aikido roll over, over Savvy and do a laying on of hands, revivify. However, being overzealous and just continuing moving, we'll do several extra sum somersaults to move past and through under the pole. In a three point landing, you stand up because that's, that's a really good roll. And, and trying to, again, we are kind of in, in, a, in a coliseum, give a slight bow to the crowd. 
And with I'm, that, I'm, Savvy, you have a re-roll from our wonderful people. Who hey. Oh, heck yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm ready on the damage. There's 35 points of damage. Beautiful. Thank you. And where, so you're holding on to two eye stalks. I am. Where do you, like, how, what does that look like as you do damage? You haven't killed it yet. Uh, Freely still very much thinks we're working an angle here, and, you know, just he just needs a reminder. So I don't attack his main eye, because that would be ungentlemanly. Uh, so it's more just like a swat on the back. Like, Even though the smite very much still goes off. He's like, we're, we're supposed to be just putting on a show! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll say that it moves it forward five feet, but yeah. since it is huge, it just kind of goes... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. All right. Next we have Oleander. When you say huge, how, about how tall is this? Uh, huge is 15 to 20, I believe. Okay, perfect. Um, you see me as soon as Savvy gets picked up. Uh, um, just has not gotten picked up. Oh, has not gotten oh. picked up. Oh, um, what what are you? I'm a half elf. I think that I can probably still do it. I am going to grab her and fly. You see my wings expand. Aha! And I'm going to fly 30 feet up into the air. What size are you? Um, I am. <laughs> 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 I'm small, but I'm strong. What's your strength? Um, oh, no, I'm not very strong at all. <laughs> <laughs> I changed that. You have a strong I, heart. I yes. have a very strong heart. <laughs> <laughs> I will attempt to fly up with her, and if I cannot, then I will leave her there, but I will still fly up. Okay, so she's underneath a, a huge beholder. It's a dire beholder, and she's underneath I'm the sorry, seat. there's nothing fly I can under. do. That's okay. All right. Please roll me um, oh, I'll try. athletic. Oh, sure. So Vondra did not get her up, though? No, he <laughs> rolled so well, but he, he missed her with a sleight of hand. Although, I did yeah. move okay. the dire beholder from over her, though, so she shouldn't be it directly under feet. it. It's yes, 15 okay. feet, so it's Perfect. Still over. Oh, whoa, it's that chunky. That's 15 feet it's in diameter. Big, That's it's a big old beholder. Yeah. Okay, right. Yeah. At disadvantage, my acrobatics is an 18. Wow. This is a miracle. <laughs> it's a miracle. Your little pixie friend just kind of drags you as your eyes flicker oh. open. And I fly up into the air. And I'm going to cast. I'm, I'm just blowing my wand right now. I'm sorry, everybody. But I am so. casting. Well, we're all at half damage, right? So yeah. I'm casting um, Mass Cure Wounds on everybody. Um, Ooh. Because, ah. oh. <sighs> I'm the worst. Um, OK. Um, <laughs> Everybody takes fifth, uh, get gains 15 hit points back. That still counts, though. though. Thank you. Uh, it could have been better if I didn't roll two ones. Um, all right. And um, I am holding you as you uh, come to. Don't be scared. Don't, be, don't look down. <laughs> I wasn't flying when I fell. You're flying now. <laughs> All right, next is, oh, what are you wearing? You're a pixie, but you gotta be wearing something. I am wearing this. <laughs> or not, uh, I don't know, it's up to you. I mean, I do I have to, no. You um, don't have to. Uh, I, I, I am wearing basically this. I look very chipper <laughs> and very friendly. All right, so uh, the beholder sees you go underneath it and all of its eyes go and then you fly up, and one of its eye rays, uh, ones that are left, it starts, it goes off, and I was like, Savvy, please make me a deck save. Okay. Oh, it's a 13. You are now petrified. Thick! Mm -hmm. <laughs> So uh, suddenly, your friend gets a little heavier. Please roll me athletics to keep that grip. You got it. And from another pillar comes out a little tiny, itty bitty geezer. It's a beholder, but it's like a baby beholder. And it goes, <laughs> oh, Thanks, I hate it. <laughs> and it comes after freely. Um, um, that athletics check was a big old four. Nice. You drop your friend. He goes dong 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 dong, dong on the a bouncing oh, off no. of the beholder and onto the ground, which Sorry. crushes it. And sh so she does not take damage. However, um, the gazer is going to try to bite bite you freely. How dare! 
And that is going to be a 19 to hit. Normally that would be enough, but I'm going to cast my shield spell. So my AC goes up to 24. This little mouse like, <laughs> and, and comes after you and it breaks its teeth. We did not rehearse this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up, Razmataz. All right, you see uh, Razmataz apparently was standing right next to Oleander or Savvy? Oleander. So okay. now you were there by yourself. So flies up, sees the <laughs> flailing stone Savvy <laughs> in front of him. Uh, he has uh, the court jester's hat on, bells everywhere. Uh, he's got the floofy collar. It is uh, pink and purple and uh, kind of a, a really, really bad yellow uh, gold. And uh, he definitely has tights on. Um, and, and not much in the way of, uh, you know, uh, leg coverings. Uh, and so uh, he, he just <laughs> walks forward and, and kind of looks at Savvy and then looks at Vajra and says, oh, oh what a hero. I'm over the moon. Savvy's still at zero, but I'm still going to swoon. And with a bonus action, Bardic Inspiration. <laughs> and then he says, ah, it's about to be hot as balls in here in Fireball. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, you see a ridiculous rod like scepter that he pulls out that has bells on it too, and he kind of shakes it. Bead of light streaks out under the beholder. Uh, well, it, is she like directly under it right now? No, she's off. She okay, bounced yeah. off of the beholder. So that's actually. good. Like under it to try not to hit freely. Not to Beautiful. try too hard, yeah. but, okay. but to try. <laughs> I believe in you. All right, At so. level 10, I will say you've had experience doing this before. Oh, uh, okay. That, that's maybe more fair than it should be. Then. And since you all have been traveling together for about three years, you probably have done this before together. Sure. Uh, save DC of 17, dexterity saving throw. That is a dex save. That is a 15. Um, all right, that failed, and it is going to take. I didn't drop my dice. <laughs> Wait, it's cocked though. It's still <laughs> cocked. <laughs> on the thing, and it won't give me a result. Oh, here we go. Uh, 24 points of damage. That's 24 points of damage to the beholder butt, right to the butt, and it goes up and it starts spinning freely. Ah. Free, please make. Uh, and athletics or acrobatics? Uh, let's see which one of those is going to be better at this time. All right. Uh, acrobat athletics, for sure. That is not the best. That is 13. Uh, 13 is enough to, um, you said acrobatics? Uh, that is athletics. Athletics. Mm -hmm. um, you hold on, and this thing starts spinning. <laughs> and really, it's just, ah! <laughs> the audience loves it. They cheer. You yeah. see, um, so there's like a field, like a force field, or a dome of force, mm -hmm. and you see people trying to throw flowers on it and like <laughs> coins, and it's just kind of sticking and sliding down as people are cheering. Hey, we're making tips. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Is that the end of your turn? Uh, he uh, takes one step over to the right. Okay. And that's the end of his turn. Fantastic. <laughs> Savvy, you look great. <laughs> You're just there for a while. For like a while. Oh, you Will can you? make a, a dexterity <laughs> saving throw, please. Okay. Ooh, that's really good. That's a 28. You suddenly, from your toes all the way up, very slow, your flesh begins to come back uh, from <gasps> And that is all you can do on your turn. But you were not dead. We just started, so this is good. Okay, top of the round. Freely, you are spinning. This beholder has not stopped spinning because it is not its turn. So you are now floating and holding on okay. to this eye stock as you're it. going around. Don't worry, guys. I got it. Um, okay. Uh, how Roughly how high in the air are we? Uh, let's see. 15, 30 feet up. Okay, 30 And then feet. 15, and then 30, and then 15. <laughs> right, yeah, that's, right, that, that makes sense. Um, 
I am going to attempt to use uh, a mobile flourish uh, as a bard, that if, as a swords bard, that if I hit him, I'm going to drive him back towards the ground. Just oh, nice. <laughs> so let's see if I hit him. Uh, that is going to be uh, pretty significant. That is going to be... Sorry, navigating everything on mobile, y'all. I apologize. Um, 25 to hit him. Totally <laughs> hits. Yep, and I'm okay. going to smite him, too. All but, right. Um, so what I would like from you, audience, yes. mm -hmm. is a drum roll. Right. <laughs> Precision. Um, <laughs> so that is going to be uh, not tons of damage. Let's see, 9, 12, 15, 19. Uh, we're going to add, go all, the way, go all the way in on him here. 19, 24, 26. Um, plus, uh, so it's going to be another 32 points of damage, and I drive him down 17 feet back oh. towards the ground. <laughs> So you drive it down with a smite, and you see this green, is it a green flame or just smite? What that was just like? because I can't green flame in mobile What color? Flourish. Pick a color. Oh, just brilliant divine light that just goes brilliant off. Brilliant divine this. pink light just mm -hmm. emanates from this. It's, very, it's, it's more of a fuchsia, but okay, yeah. Good color. Yeah, right, yeah. Exactly. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> and the, be the raging beholder hits the ground with its final death cry. And the tiny uh, gazer that was snipping around flees behind another pillar, and you hear the bell ding, ding, ding. Yeah, that's right. Everyone in the Coliseum <laughs> chants your name. What is the name of your troop? <laughs> those guys. It's Rasmataz those guys. and the others. <laughs> <laughs> Rasmataz and those guys. The fuchsia Ras fighters. <laughs> Rasmataz Manian devils. <laughs> Yes. Yes, that's yes, that's it. Going twice. I have to write that down. <laughs> uh, so Rasmatez. Tasmanian devil. Tasmanian R T D. R T D. Yes. R T D. Are you not entertained? <laughs> Are you not entertained? Yes. R T D. Because that's what you're going to be referred to by me. Uh, you can call yourselves whatever you'd like. Uh, you were part of the Salvata Salvation, a rebellion group fighting for equality in the Bardic city of Salvata, an architectural masterpiece of a city that stands 10 districts tall into the sky above. Salvata's aqueducts and towering district to district waterfalls make it a visual feast from afar and from within. And so its beauty delights tourists who travel here from a variety of realms. Ooh. Everyone is welcome in Salvata. You and your rebellion have found information about the nobles in District 7, 8, and 9. They've been siphoning the divine magic from the city's blessed waters that jet up from the oasis Salvata is built upon. The water that trickles down from above is left without magic, and the nobles take full advantage of this imbalance. Your mission, you've already accepted it, your mission is to infiltrate the nobles and find out who is behind their power. Do you have any questions? Uh, how does that relate to the dire beholder thing that just, that just happened? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's all a part just of it. Just one question. Uh, by infiltrate the nobles, you mean a little... It's your, your, it's your mission. I mean, you know, I mean... It is 10.30 at night. I was going to say, <laughs> God, I, mean, you I didn't take those kind Savvy, of paladin vows. <laughs> Savvy will, like, swish her cloak and her leather armor becomes, like, a fantastic, like, noble's outfit. Infiltrate the nobles is what this means. Uh, can we, like, maybe squeeze in a nap? Because, I mean, that's, that's, that sort of took a lot back there. Just, uh... I mean, yeah, I was stoned for most of it, so. No, but you looked great, though. Like, your cheekbones were just, like, amazing. I know, they're very chiseled. And, I, I know. Bajra, you know that your contact, Alice, here in the Coliseum, has something very special for you to regain a whole lot of good stuff. Alice, it would be of great, great consequence and of dire help if we were to have some quesava before we start our mission. I'm so glad you said that. So... Let me tell you about this cassava that is handed to you, but I'm going to say it after this box text that I've spent a lot of time writing. <laughs> the celebration continues on the parapet gardens at the top of the Colosseum. 
Ticket holders mingle and celebrate your victory as students from the Bardic College of Anatomy perform elaborate magical aerial feats that seem to defy physics in the air above the party. Tinctures and tonics are passed around in geometric glass by gliding wait staff. Districts, mm, excuse me, drinks emerge from crystal countertops as party goers order from the realm's renowned bartender, Jandar Doreen, the satyr. From this height, you can see all of District 1 and the sunset on the sands surrounding Salvata. And Alice does come to you with a silver platter. And on this silver platter are small flasks. She says, please, please, um, I see that you are very hurt and you've expended a lot of spell slots. Have some pure cassava tonic. Ah, pure cassava. Mm. I, hope, I hope that this one has haste in it. Oh, okay, so each one of you, please roll me. If you choose to drink this, you don't have to. Trust me, it's oh, good. I'm drinking it. Yeah. You'll enjoy it. Usually when I drink, I feel much slower, not much faster. Get a double if you can. Oh, all right, let's oh, go. Oh, we, we can't afford a double. Oh. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, roll a d4, and we will go down the line starting with Razzmatazz. That is going to be a four. Fantastic. So. Just so everyone knows, pure cassava tonic is something that you can get in Salvata that we'll have in our book. Uh, the appearance of this glowing tonic is gold with slightly purple photoluminescent flecks of divine mm. power and comes in a small cylindrical crystal vial. The effects, pure cassava tonic provides the effects of a long rest. And yeah, you can just like keep taking this. It's, it's fine. Additionally, <laughs> it will provide one of four additional benefits at random by rolling a d4. And for you, you gain 16 temporary hit points. Ooh. I mean, again, when I drink, I usually have a long rest <laughs> immediately <laughs> afterwards. <laughs> so you do have a long rest. You recover all of your spells and your hit points. Excellent. Okay, Savvy. I also rolled a four. You also get four, uh, 16 temporary hit points. I rolled a two. A two. You may maintain two concentration spells simultaneously for one hour. Wow. Ooh. Starting when I do my first one or starting now? When you drink it. Oh, I'm cheating because okay. uh, it's only a two-hour game. Sure. Yeah. So you sure. don't have to drink it right now. I won't drink it right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Bajra. I also got a two. You, Paladin. Paladin can concentrate on two spells simultaneously for one hour. Yikes. That's triple smite. That's the dream, man. <laughs> um, uh, also got a four. You get 16 temporary hit points. Um, you, with a three, you could have gotten haste, and um, perhaps I got a three instead. You did not. <laughs> <laughs> one, it would be a spell attack and save DC increased by one D four for one day. I like Ooh, this wow. stuff. Yep. All right. Mm -hmm. Makes you feel like you're flying. <laughs> yeah, you guys are it's like pre workout. It's wonderful. <laughs> have some My face is tingling. Yeah, right. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Okay, so you are on this parapet, and there's a party going on. You see waiters, uh, two waiters serving drinks. You see around the bar that people are ordering, and uh, Jandar, he's a satyr, and he's got one horn that's full, and the other one is broken, but it looks like it's got it sealed off with a cap of gold, and he's got piercings. Um, drinks are coming out of the countertop. You've got aerialists in the air. You've got lots of nobles. You see um, one table of nobles that, Rasmataz, you would know that there's a noble there named Teeple, He's a motivational artist, um, and let's see. So unemployed. <laughs> <laughs> Get a noble. It all makes sense. Mm -hmm. There's also Alice. Alice is a small tiefling of pixie cut hair, multicolored, and also a lot of, of piercings. You see, let's see, some students from the College of Anatomy. You see, let's see, um, people that Vajra, you would have... Me, you might recognize from some gambling halls on District 2. But they definitely are um, very well dressed and all look like they just walked out of a magazine. And that is the scene. Do those people um, that gamble, like do the nobles come down to District 2 to gamble? Would they do that? So you would know that uh, you're on District 1 right now. This mm -hmm. is like an Epcot Center type mm -hmm. place. It has like little bits and pieces from all of the districts. And um, the gamblers look like they're from District 2. 
But these people look extra. They're not Azamar. There's a dwarf, a halfling, a half elf, and a human. But they all look like as like you know, Azamar just glow with this radiance. Like they are their best, perfect selves. That's what these people look like. Oh, and honey, you see, they're trying too hard. Uh, <laughs> the people that are around Teeple, um, there's a human, a a fancy noble bugbear. There's a half elf and a minotaur. A couple of them also look like their perfect selves. Yeah, but what I'm asking is the nobles that we need to infiltrate, would they associate with them like in gambling? In a place in like two? this. So yeah. in the okay. Coliseum, they definitely would come down okay. to the Coliseum to see things. Maybe we should uh, talk to them. Maybe we should. Is this um them looking so like radiant, is that normal? Like, I mean, are we accustomed to like, oh, those people just get like regular facials and mani pedis, or like, shit, is that unusual? <laughs> Roll right. me a history check. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Freely didn't know what happened yesterday. Oh, that's a natural 20, though. Yay! Right. <laughs> He's you, like, actually, maybe I heard this one time. <laughs> you have noticed in Salvata, even if you're not from here, you've been here for maybe even a month. You've noticed that over the last couple of weeks, people are starting to get this like this glow about them. I do like share this. Like super faceless is the main thing. I share this with the others. I was all like, you know, I mean, all of us were obviously born intrinsically beautiful, but I mean, have you <laughs> noticed that these other people are like glowing up like rapidly? Like liter literally. I'll hold up my vial that I haven't had any of it. Is it, is it this? Now, I've heard tell something secret here in Selvata, something the Emerald Cabal sells at a very high price, mm -hmm. similar to Kesava, but a little more sinister. These people may, may know more. OK, right. listen, who names themselves a cabal? I mean, really, <laughs> like, for marketing purposes, it's never going to go over well. <laughs> Doesn't roll off the tongue, no. no. Um. While everybody's talking, uh, uh, who, who drank all of theirs? I mean, everybody, I mean, uh, yeah, but me? I just, like when he was like, get a double, I just slammed it immediately. I'm just going to collect the empty vials and I'll put it in my pocket. Awesome. So how many do you have? You have four? I have three. four. I have four vials and then my full one. I will also. I'll save mine. Oh, are you saving yours? Okay, then I have three. But seeing, seeing, uh, once I'm done, I, I will give, give, give you my. Empty. Sounds great. I want to give it to her, but then pick it right back without yeah. her knowing. Slide of hand and perception, please. I would like to mingle. This is for uh, all of us. I know. Um, so slide of hand for Raz and uh, Oleander, please make a perception check. You got it. It's a dirty 20. And I have a one. <laughs> <laughs> so dirty. Elisa's dice. Uh, these aren't even my dice. It's just That's my true. hand, I mean, apparently. I hope, this is honestly, quite a streak. A strike this is again. Quite a streak. I was hoping that it was going to change because it's late, but nope. you know. Nope. nope. Maybe the table, though. <laughs> the story here yep. in Salvata. All right. So you've boo pocketed. I saw you do this. Yeah. Uh, so you boo pocketed mm -hmm. the um, empty vials. I guess only one. Um, oh, no, two. Yeah, yeah I did. Yes, I, I have do. two. I give you my Thank you. All right. Could I activate a You're ritual welcome. to take magic? <laughs> sure. So just, so just kind of while while they're mingling and schmoozing, just kind of off to the side. I'll I'll I take it'll take ten minutes to cast. You tell me when it kicks in, and then. So okay, we'll just say that you guys kind of like mingle a little bit, and before you make any actions, knowing that your friend is uh, doing this ritual, suddenly it's just blinding. It's like the entire building. You see that the great siphon, or the grand siphon in the center column, the mountain that goes all the way up to the top is blinding, all the magic that's happening, everyone's doing tricks, it's just really, really intense. This whole place is magical. Then I, the second thing I hit is my paladin divine sense to know undead celestial fair fiends in this room. Um, there's quite a few celestial, um, quite a few fey. Uh, you see a couple of fiends. Mm -hmm. Is that also unusual? Like, I mean, is this like a sickle where like one might like roll by and you're like, all right, or Everyone's is it? Everyone's welcome in Salvata. Okay, <laughs> right. So it's not necessarily grounds to throw hands. The fact that I'm like, hey, yeah, okay, right, got it. Okay, <laughs> I, I do impart this. <laughs> I do impart this upon my friends. I'm just like, okay, okay. So um, a lot's happening <laughs> magically, um, but we got some uh, some celestial, some face, some with some fiends. <laughs> Two over there. 
Yeah, I don't know. They look a little shifty, but you know, whatever. I've been so told everybody's welcome. Judgy. I mean, they're literally fiends. <laughs> <laughs> but I just let them know what I know. Olander is sort of offended that this, you know, spell that you do is targeting um, her kind along with who you are talking about so negatively, and she just like, what's wrong with all of us? There's nothing wrong. There's nothing yeah, no, wrong. No, delightful. It's, it's really more of an, just an awareness. That's all. That's just, you know, that sometimes it's relevant that you should know. Like, somebody's trying to uh, bewitch you. Uh, I would like another drink, please. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Is Alice still here with us? Yes. She's really nervous. Yeah. She just is really nervous. Yeah. A Alice, to, to, whom, to whom would you like us to go and get information from? I mean, this place is packed. You could literally talk to, like, Almost anybody. How, I mean, how best can we assist the resistance? To, what, what, we, we can go and infiltrate a higher district, but to what end and, and, and why? Um, well, we need to, okay. Your, you and your rebellion have found information about the nobles. <gasps> they have been siphoning the divine magic from the city's blessed water as a jet up from the oasis. The water that trickles down is left without magic, and the nobles take full advantage of this imbalance. Your mission is to infiltrate the nobles and find out who is behind their power. So specifically, who is infiltrating them? Who is behind their power? You said the bugbear. The bugbear is looking luxurious, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, all right, I got this. <laughs> I walk over to the luxurious bugbear. <laughs> so the bugbear is sitting with other nobles. Oh, hey, um, buddy. You see a very stern, androgynous human, and uh, she like her hair is slick ba slicked back, and it's black, and it comes together in a really tight bun on top of her head. She's got nobleman's pants, uh, shoes, and she's wearing an elaborate women's military coat. Mm -hmm. And also there is the bugbear, who's like about middle aged and is just really fancy ruffles and everything. The half-elf, which is Teeple, the one that Rasmataz recognizes, is a half-elf, 5'4", wild ash-brown hair, wears fine noble clothes, covered in paint, and has a red, uh, sunglasses with one red lens and one purple lens. That's a and choice. And a paintbrush tucked behind his ear and a hip holster for his brushes. And then you see a minotaur with gilded horns adorned with jewels. A massive necklace and pendant around his neck, and glowing tattoos down his neck and left arm. And that is your thing. Uh, hey, fellas, let me just ask you one quick question. Charm person on the bugbear and the minotaur. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So they need to be the wisdom 16. That's a 12. That's an 11. They're like. You're, you're from that group. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. No, yes. it's, it's, yeah. Um, RT. Yeah, the Rez, uh, my Tasmanian devils. Yeah, no, my friends and I, my, my, my friends and I, just uh, <laughs> were, yeah, hi, hey, hey hi. 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 Hi, fly. Yeah, we just sort of, uh, you know, we just I, got a little scuffle <laughs> down there. I mean, I know you guys know what that's like. Look at you, look at you guys. The human female with a stern face is like, <laughs> <laughs> you were marvelous. You were very, very good. Okay. Yeah. Right. Um, so uh, uh, my buddy Vajra here is a local. You're a local, right? I'm your local, local enough. Right? Local, local enough. enough. Um, uh, he's got some questions for for you guys. I'm uh, I'm I'm just here to be a great warrior, also. <laughs> like, 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 like you guys. <laughs> Roll performance. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, wait a minute. I'm offended. That I'm like, wait a minute. I really am a great warrior. Um, let's see, performance. And while you're rolling the bugbear. You guys are really good. I'm quite impressed. Do you just, are you for hire? Is it something that you do? Yeah! Do you just go and fight anything for fun and money and fame? Uh, Especially yeah. money. Yeah. Sounds like uh, the not perfect in that life order. to me. <laughs> yeah, right, but yeah. 19 on the performance, by the way. Oh, nice. He's super casual. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, Teeple, the half-elf, leans over to you, Vajra, and goes, um, so you had a question? So, Pure Kesava, it's amazing. I've heard there's something else here in Selvata, something a little more secretive, something a little more harder to get. Do you know anything about this? Roll persuasion. Mm. Bardic inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. You did say it before. Okay, 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 fine, 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 fine. No, you did. You I, said oh, it. Yeah. Okay, I'm like, no, I do believe in you. 
Okay. So 15 plus, and I believe I have a six, let's make sure, a six to persuasion, so that is a 21. Ooh, very good, nice. Thank Bart you Bart for Bartic finger guns, I'm like, I got this buddy. <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Looks over at the Minotaur, and the Minotaur says, "Perhaps, perhaps we um, have heard of some things, and uh, what do some fine people like you have? Or why would you have interest in something like that?" Who wouldn't have interest in something like that? You saw our performance. Imagine what we could do with a little tactical advantage, a little enhancement. You like. I mean, it's for, <laughs> it's for the rebe uh, re the root rutabagas. <laughs> we we eat rutabagas every day, and I, I think hear what if you Raz wash them in this, it's really, and I think really what, good. what Razmataz is trying to say, it's for the most rapacious of individuals, not the rutabaga. <laughs> <laughs> that obviously. Well, just go with it, just go with it. So we've been talking, and we thought that we should, um, up in our District 8, we should have something quite fun like we just saw, something quite competitive, some fights. We usually have to come all the way down here for fights, but maybe, you know, up in our penthouses, we could, we should have our own underground fighting ring, and we would need some, someone I, 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 I hate to interrupt, but like, if you're on level eight, how can it be underground? <laughs> we all look at each other that. and they're like, and Tifo's like, I told you that. That might be why, uh, <laughs> he might have just identified the flaw in your logic. That might be why this hadn't happened yet. Yeah. So like, what you're saying is like an overground fighting ring? I mean, it's kind of like middle ground, like how many levels? I mean, this is, this is like nine levels, so, oh, so like a, we're building a tenth, but like you can't go there. But so like, Pretty above ground. This is like thousands. This is like two miles up. Why don't we just go with secret? Yeah, I think they're using it as a, as a metaphor. More, uh, you know, yeah, like not a, really right, underground, right. but on the DL, yes. yes. on the down low. Yes. Yes. Always confuse those. Just so you want it to have a metal floor? Is that what you said? Yes. Yes. No. Yes. It's got to be able to withstand what we do to it. Yeah. No. One hundred percent. Yeah, we're in. Um, but just a quick question, um, and I lean over to the bugbear, and I'm all like, you know, I couldn't help but notice, buddy, um, that you you got some luxurious fur, okay? <laughs> Do you want to pet it? You should totally pet it. Also, I? can you sign my lapel? Rasmataz starts petting it with a mage hand. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah? Yeah? Are you signing it or are you petting it? Uh, both. I'm, 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 I'm signing him with, I'm, sign, I'm, I'm going to sign him with my, my actual hand, but I'm petting him with Freely's clockwork arm. So I'm not actually going to know what it's like to stroke this minute. So I'm kind of like, oh, no, no, no. There's a mage hand petting uh, oh, your yeah, bugbear. And mm -hmm. so you're, you're stroking the, the fur. Bugbear, bugbear, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> and you're kind of weird petting the, the and the, you hear him as you're signing. Oh, the mage hand goes up under the ear. Oh <laughs> my <laughs> god. I mean, bugbears are like. I think they should come up with us. <laughs> He's looking down at, at its leg like ant. ant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For those of you who aren't familiar, bugbears are basically like giant anthropomorphic, almost like panther people. You know, like they're not bugs or bears. They're like cat things. Yeah. So. Um, but furry. But furry. We're yeah. Furry. Oh, oh, yeah. No, they're, they're furry. Yeah. Freely's just like, not very comfortable with this, but it's working. Yay. Yeah. You're doing great. I think You're doing great. great. And normally you do this, Roger. Okay. I, I, uh, the mentor is like, you know, guys, I, I think they're pretty cool. And, and I mean, this one here, you saw him with those eye stalks. That was pretty fantastic. I can show you that move, buddy. I mean, we can pet you, too. <laughs> oh, no, thank you. Oh. <laughs> no. Then he, like, slow turns to Freely, who has charmed him. He's like, well, but well, anyway, that was <laughs> you know, I think I think this could be a very lucrative business. You know what? Uh, you guys fight for us. Uh, we give you money, and we also give other treats, such as pure cassava, a font of inspiration, and other. And he looks over at um, the bugbear, and other <laughs> liquid refreshments. <laughs> <laughs> um, you see that Alice is 
wedding. She's standing about 20 feet away, and she's like. <laughs> I'm sort of feeding off of that. <laughs> but I'll, I will, uh, I, I, I'll, I'm on the ground. So I will stroll over and say, is everything all right? Those, those people are like really famous. They're like really rich. They're like really noble. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's going to be okay. Yeah, but like, so what? What's going on? I mean, should I report back? Are you guys okay? Oh, they're being perfectly nice. Okay, just um, just uh, and she hands you a sending stone. And goes, oh, please okay. just report back to us. Like the size of you. Where are you going to put it? <laughs> boot pocket. <laughs> in all boot pockets. It's like are a boot Aren't you size holding. small yeah. though? Like boot pocket. Yeah. Boot pocket. <laughs> Of holding. Right. It's yes. true. Of holding. That's true. That, exactly. I need one of those for real. Can we put that in the butt? Group yeah. pocket of holding. Yes, please. Canon now. <laughs> you, you know, I have to say, I realize we've only got two hours, but I have to say, once Satine and I were playing a game and we had some practical things, and she said, I'll put them in my boob pocket. And I'm like, that's not possible. And she's like, yes, it is. And I'm like, that's not a thing. And, and she it. did it <laughs> at the table. And I was like, <laughs> So that's why I do not question this. Yeah. This, oh, no, this you don't even trip. know. Money, yeah. lipstick, yeah. phone, you nope. know, everything. Nope. That's, that's why I'm your size Sending small, but I believe stones. it. Yeah, right. Sending Sending stones. It, no problem. Acceptable. Um, I will take it, boot pocket it. Um, if, if there's, if anything goes wrong, just like, and, and also, like, let me know where you are. And she pulls out this ledger and she's like, just let me know because, like, I got to track you. And then, I mean, if you're in danger, and then she just keeps going on and on about her work. Um. It'll be okay. Look, look at us. We can take care of ourselves. She's looking over, and they're like petting the bugs there. <laughs> it's like, look, they're fine. They're fine. Okay. Okay. Don't worry. Okay. We we have some things up our sleeve. All right. Uh, back to you guys. Uh, let's see. I, I will say, Freely kind of looks at all of them, and he goes, you know, um, I, I think we got, you know, about an hour um, until about an hour until um, you know it's time to head home, so maybe we should move along wherever you guys want to go hang out. Yeah, I, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> well, fabulous. We're going up to the penthouses shortly. Um, uh, if you uh, if you go down to the entrance of uh, Great the Grand Siphon, um, here and he like pulls out a ticket. He hands it to Savvy. Ooh, yay. He goes, here, just present this uh, to the great uh, Grand Siphon uh, uh, guards, and they will uh, send you to the traveling unit that will bring you up to District H. Awesome, thanks. I'll take when, you whenever, right to our penthouse. Whenever it looks like she's about to pocket that or whatever, <laughs> I want to take the ticket from her. Of course. Her. <laughs> um, same role, Monster. please. It's a uh, perception, perception from me. and slide Oh, of razzmatazz. <laughs> oh, come on. Come the freak on. Yeah. 27. Natural one. <laughs> wait, wait. I have a re-roll. Yeah, yeah you do. For this. Ah, for this. It's oh. a 24. So close. Mm -hmm. So close. So close. Okay. Even your fated destiny. <laughs> yeah. I am angry. If only you knew. Right? Or if only I knew it. I go to put it away and I think it's gone, man. Well, we're very excited to have you fight with us. So. To, to, whom, to whom shall we fight for? For you? Oh, who, for who, us. Who, who, who shall we be fighting? Yeah, what are your names, friends? Oh, oh of course, of course. Um, the woman, the stern woman goes, I'm uh, Fernanda Diana. Oh. <laughs> she Lord. like forces her hand down. Pleasure! Uh, <laughs> she the, definitely she definitely gets the clockwork handshake. They're just like, you know, no, I'm not gonna squeeze my hand too much. Thanks. Uh, the bugbear says, "I am Maverick Murdoch." Oh, that's and gonna be very nice. My giant. my tiny little <laughs> hand <laughs> and your giant hand. Hello. A teeple just gives you like a, a glasses with his uh, red and purple sunglasses. Teeple. Raz does not shake hands. He, he every time they try, he does this, and then Mage <laughs> Hand comes out to try to <laughs> shake their hand. And but with teeple, like if he's doing this with it. The moment that he lets his hand back, the mage hand like <laughs> <laughs> happens. Totally works. Uh, he's startled, and then he kind of smiles. Uh, the Minotaur goes, uh, "I'm Lawrence Slobber. Nice to meet you." Wait, his name is Maverick, and your name is Lawrence. <laughs> <laughs> he 
Yeah. What? That's a great name. No, I, 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 I think it's a pretty no, cool no, name. No, I, 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 yeah. I just hear somebody was called like Slobber or something. What did you say? Slobber. Slobber? Slobber? A slobber. And he looks so sad right now. <laughs> the saddest <laughs> gilded uh, Did your mother not love you? Brad. Hey, they're our well, friends. Mean, really, no, 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 bring, bring it in, buddy. No, bring, no, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Bring it in. <laughs> and this, my good man, is an example of how we treat our enemies yeah. upon the field of battle. We do. Thank you, Razmataz, for that display. Mercilessly timed, yes. Yeah. Um, yes, as they were saying before um, all of this, um, Mr. Go to Rosalo's playground on District Eight. The um, the transportation will get you there. Lickety split. Fantastic. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. This time I hit the mage hand to sc keep scratching the bugbear until like maximum distance. <laughs> the full thirty feet is where like walking. His foot like you know? doing this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. is, like play casual. Yep. Uh, they get up and start talking to one another. And with a golden District Eight ticket in hand, you make your way through District. Um, one all the way to the Great Siphon, the Central Park and Transit Way that takes you up to the very top of the city. It's really cool because it has this like altered gravity. So as you walk through the, the threshold, it actually goes whoop. And, uh, and any other night, it would take hours to walk up the altered gravity walls. But tonight, the trip is an easy 20 minute ride in a crystal swan, courtesy of the Lockgate Security Company. Each seat is cushioned and embroidered on the side are the words, Tour of Stars. The swan takes you through massive gates as you enter District 8. Its opulence is otherworldly. You make it past buildings shaped like black pyramids, green tigers, and a tower of balloons, and directly to a nondescript golden building with one long red rope along the entirety of the wall. The swan stops in front of this building. Its massive crystal wing rises for you to exit. Raz runs to the rope and pulls it. Nondescript. Golden. <laughs> Many things are golden here in District 8. Okay. <laughs> uh, Oleander, is this what it's like where you're from? Uh, like, is everything so... Uh, not at all, but this is very interesting. And on this ride up, um, I want to take those vials, and um, you'll see me just like really quickly on my lap. I'll fold out a little a kit, uh -uh. and I'll open up the kit, and you see me take a couple different other vials. Of potions and whatnot, and I am going to try to replicate the look of oh. um, the cassava, yeah. the cassava as best as I can, and recap those bottles. And as as Raz later. sees this, <laughs> uh, he, he he's uh, he he basically is like, oh oh oh, he, only you dropped this. Like, what would you ever <laughs> oh, do thanks, without Raz. me? And <laughs> I mean, she <laughs> totally like me. knows, but she, thanks, Raz. And then um, she'll like continue on this to make these three right little. So it's like a hamster size. Is that like the little tiny? Thing? Yeah, it's like a. I have like a little um, alchemical kit um, with various poisons and whatnot in Arcana it. Arcana or nature. You can roll either one of those. Um, in order sure. To make um, this. I will roll. Um, they're both the same for me. And upon seeing Orlander do this, uh, Vajra will take his vial and then prof the empty. Oh, are you point. sure? It's okay. I have three. It, it, uh, then I, I will make I, a fourth. I believe that we that I, my services shall be needed on District Eight. So the time Hope, the time is nigh. Hopefully, well enough with the thirteen. <laughs> However long it takes him to okay. drink that vial freely is very much like chug 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 <laughs> chug. <laughs> like, <right. laughs> it's a blast. So you're like chug. <laughs> <laughs> and and they look perfect. So I've, I have like a little wax seal, and I, you know, you see me wax seal them all up. Nice, very so nice. Put them into the boot pocket. Beautiful. Well of holding. The boot holding. pocket of holding. holding. All right. So you're in front of this. There's a red rope. Raz just I pulled on it. I run to it and pull. And it go, it, it, you pull and it, it moves, but it doesn't uh, break or anything. That was boring. Um, this is all very fancy. Uh, is there a security? Because usually right about this is the time when the guards show up. When well, we especially go when I start pulling on things. The, uh, well, I mean, I could try knocking, and I hit Thalmaturgy to make my voice three times larger. Hel uh, louder. Uh, hel hello, uh, Ma Maverick sent us. Hello. Um, we're the Great Warriors. And some person <laughs> named Slobber. <laughs> Nothing happens. I'm just going to pass the rope and go in. So you pass the rope, and there is a wall in front of you. 
Mm. You really love stones. You do don't not you? see a door. Ooh. It is a nondescript wall. Can I look for a door? You sure can. <laughs> uh, what would that be? Perception or investigation? Uh, investigation. Okay. Vajra, like you can come just knock this down, right? I mean, look at those guns. And then you see Raz start blowing on his uh, thumb, and with mage hand, he pulls up his. <laughs> <laughs> That's a twenty-four. Oh, you do see that there is just a very fine sliver of a door. So yeah, I hit the wall, and then I hit, I go. I'm looking at Raz as I do it. Are you mine? Yeah, I'm looking at Raz as I do it, and then I like find the seam, and I'm like, oh yeah, here it is. You I feel like. Something needs to activate this. Ooh. I would have just knocked the wall down, but my back still hurts from carrying all of you through that beholder fight. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like it was carrying you on a merry-go-round ride. And, and it was actually oh, fairly enjoyable, I've got to say. How yeah, does, yeah, yeah. How, how does the ticket work? Uh, that's a good question. I look for my ticket. So then check, check your boob pocket. Out of his <laughs> boob pocket. <laughs> right. and, and he doesn't let them see that, but he's like, oh, uh, Sammy, you dropped this. Like, I, I, what would you all do without me? I mean, seriously. Butterfingers. All over the place. Butterfingers. I ignore it's that. Either, we either it's a need, little sweaty. Too. We either need to discuss as a group our clumsiness with losing our magical items, or potentially one of our members being a little thievy. Savvy? What did you steal? <laughs> yeah, no, that, 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 it's, that, is, not, that is not proper to like asparage the good name of one of our companions, sir. Exactly. <laughs> right. That anyway, hurt Savvy's feelings. I like shake the ticket, try and get some of the dampness off of it. And <laughs> is I, that like, a minotaur slobber? Mm, I hope not. And I kind of like, I hold it up to the Swap door. <laughs> Roll me Arcana. <laughs> 16. Awesome. You hold it up to the door and you kind of infuse it with just a little bit of magic. And you see that the door... That was my sweat. <laughs> <laughs> Magical moistness. Oh, no. no. Welcome. Nobody wants to be moist. <laughs> <laughs> um, you hold it up to the seam and you see it kind of fold in and then like one by one bricks fold away Ooh. and in front of you it's a booming like a uh, lounge it's awesome and there is a woman a halfling and she's kind of like dancing to the beat kind of bobbing to it she's got a, at a podium Ooh, okay, like a okay. <laughs> what's the attire look like in there like do i see people beyond like what does it look like everybody's wearing like a gala cool uh. i flick my cloak and i look like them now Awesome. I only have the one out. But it's a freely <laughs> doesn't. Yeah, yeah, I <laughs> lick my wings and I look just like this again. <laughs> oh, you guys are so pretty. And then there's also Raz. And it's just, it's nice. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty too. <laughs> oh, hi. Welcome. I'm Tiona. And you must have an invitation. Yes. Yeah. We are here to fight on your behalf, to entertain, and potentially gain some earnings and winning. Uh, what's your name? We are RTD. No, you got to say the whole thing. Yeah, no, I like cannot like, no, bring that's myself yeah, just, yeah, to right. say I don't have an RTD the... on the list. No, she's not going to believe it if you don't believe it, man. Come on. No, you got to sell it. You got to sell it. Uh, I can do it, please. <laughs> just... We're the Rasmatasmanian devils. And I press to digitate, like, sparkles. <laughs> Oh, this is wonderful. Um, yeah, you're going to go up to the penthouse that belongs to Michael Stormson. There's a fun party happening right now. Um, yeah, so let's, let's uh, get you in there. And you walk through, and you see that a lot of the party, like the people in the lounge, they're just, there's Genasi and um, angels, and it's just a very eclectic group of people, and they're all in very ornate, bizarre outfits. And they kind of like part ways as you look like them, Heck but yeah. as you're kind of leading that, the rest of you guys are walking behind. Uh, wh what does your strut look like, guys? Show us your strut. <laughs> he freely, again, is very tall for a halfling, so he like puffs his chest as much as he can, and he's like, yeah, huh? Yeah, we're here to fight. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, don't, don't try it. Yeah, as he's walking through. 
Uh, Vajra, uh, with a plus seven in athletics, will walk out and then do a backflip um, and flourish his great rune blade as a show of, of gallantly action. Okay, so you whip out your blade. Mm -hmm. Please, because you're doing that, uh, athletics, right? Sure. Please roll me athletics. You had any drinks? Oh, 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 no. That's a one. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay, so I will let you have a reaction, but what happens is you kind of do the backflip, you do the flourish, and it takes off the hair off of a bunch of different people. <laughs> so you have, you have one, you have one uh, response to this. What is that response? And that is a show here to sh display the sharpness of our blade. And we will be performing this very evening before you all. Be mindful, however. These blades are live, <laughs> just like our performance. OK, roll me either performance or persuasion. Uh, I'll go persuasion. I would like, can I perform the help action? Because <laughs> press yes, digitate. Yes. Faster. <laughs> <laughs> will you allow yeah. um, a reaction also? Sparkle. So uh, how about this? Why don't we try a triple attack? Triple attack! Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. So, we've, we've got sparkles, we have eloquence, and what else? Raz is going to minor illusion, uh, basically like really rich looking pillows to catch the hair. <laughs> 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 and then they just kind of like float off. Uh, yeah. So I mean, it won't catch it, but it will. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, they think it's going to because, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Triple advantage. Excellent. So I get to roll, I get to roll three. 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 All right. Wow. Fantastic. One, two, and three. Can I get a little, a little love on this? Thank you. Yep. All right. We have a natural 20 on one of them. That's fantastic. Woo! Power of teamwork. There it is. And that's a sound that the audience makes. Mm -hmm. However, a couple of them are like, uh-huh. <laughs> I just I give a smile and mm -hmm. a wry smile. It's all according to plan. Mm -hmm. Raz uh, comes up and uh, takes out his sovereign glue. No. <laughs> oh. What? Sovereign glue. You said we had like three magic items. Right? Oh. Yes, I did. Excellent. You all did max hit points, right? Yeah. I just oh, wanted yeah. to make sure that. Probably. I don't know. <laughs> and I'm going to you know take some of the hair in like a wad and say. Oh, listen, this will fix it. Everything will be fine. I won't do it without your consent, though. Consent is sexy. Consent sexy. One person goes, um, yeah. Excellent. Oh. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh, no. Oh, no. oh, with that other magic item, I should have gotten the universal solvent. <laughs> and I'm just going to pull my hand off. This <laughs> okay, we're going to do. Um, uh, so we're fighting oh. our way out of this room. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we are going to, yes? I mean, I was just going to druid craft their hair to grow back, but you know. Um, you couldn't have said that yesterday. Uh, you were so busy. I didn't know what you were doing, and it looked interesting I to me. I opened a giant bat of, of glue. Yeah, but it doesn't say Acme Sovereign Glue. Right. I didn't know what it is. It's, it's fascinating. But on the other two, I'll grow their hair back. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> it probably says not Sovereign Glue on the jar, you know? So you are now glued your hand, and now you're pulling, oh, and it no. takes this person back. Ah! Oh, it'll be okay, darling. It's they're okay. going with your hand. Yeah, well, <laughs> you uh, keep moving, and they'll. Uh, ah. uh, so, another demonstration of the blade, please. <laughs> Ching! Oh my God! <laughs> roll, roll new attack. <laughs> Not my hand. <laughs> that is a five. I believe I have a plus seven. So five plus seven to attack. <laughs> Uh, it's against eight, hair. Eight, 12, 11, yeah. 12, okay. I mean, I've yeah. been asking oh. for your digits. <laughs> <laughs> so if I... If and we... it's, it just is like slow motion. Everyone in the room is like... Why are you guys like this? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's, you are now not... You have the hair on your hand. You have a hand that is full of hair. <laughs> you will have disadvantage to sleight of hand check. No. Oh. <laughs> That's perfect. I that. <laughs> so I put the lid back on 
the sovereign glue and put it in the boot pocket. And then I will do okay, a graph so her hair back. slide of hand, please. <laughs> <laughs> Love this. <laughs> Uh, that's a 25. Awesome. Oh, wait, it's at disadvantage. disadvantage. Yeah. Still might be great. Uh, yeah, it's an 11. <laughs> Perfect. Name four items that come out with your hand. Not include, <laughs> so the, the glue goes, the bottle of glue goes in, but four things come out. Um, my immovable rod. <laughs> oh. Um, you did take advantage of these magic yeah, items. <laughs> I took the wimpiest thing. Right. <laughs> um, and then um, definitely uh, not four or five things that I have picked up when the party has dropped them. So, uh, you know, probably um, somebody's underwear. Like, I'll let somebody decide that. Um, and then, uh, uh, you know, definitely uh, a, a strand of hair from Vajra. Uh, obviously, um, because everybody needs that. And it just like glows so everyone knows that it mm -hmm. is. Hey, hey. <laughs> uh, yeah. if that's your thing, I guess. I, I, what's that doing in there? <laughs> All right, one more item. Oh, one more item. So the hair, the un well, the hair, underwear, and movable the movable rod. Rod. Movable rod. Oh, four items. All right, so we're going to say uh, just a pretty plain looking deck of cards. They're all stuck to your hand. Okay. Or roll fun. me a d6. Um, this is what we're doing. <laughs> Four. For 40 minutes. <laughs> That's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> 40 minutes, you, one of your hands is, uh, and All it's right. your right hand. So it's Very just well. fun for me. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, so. It's for the kids. <laughs> for the kids. And also, don't forget to donate and uh, for re-rolls, auto-crits, monsters, and strides. Mm -hmm. Save us from ourselves. Yes. yes. Okay, so Tiana is going to escort you to the 36th floor. And the door opens, and it is awesome. What you see in front of you is a very large room, like a, a massive it's a massive floor. It's a uh, forty by. I'm sorry, it's sixty by eighty feet. You do see that there is um, a door on one side, and, uh, one door on one side, and a door that goes to an opening, and that looks like a kitchen on the other side. One entire wall is um, window, and that looks like open, and like sliding glass door type, and there's a balcony on the other side. And there's a couple fireplaces, couches, um, some bars, like a uh, table, and some stools, and there are about 50 people in here. Is there anywhere that looks like a fighting circle? Not yet. <laughs> mm. It's going to have a metal floor. Yep. <laughs> I, I look at this halfling. Um, so Freely's a light foot, light foot halfling. Can I tell if she's the same kind that he is? Or I won't, I won't oh, require you to know all the. Oh, perception check. Yep. Okay. Natural twenty. Mm, Ooh. Wow. Oh, you're on fire. <laughs> like she is from the Talenta Plain. Hmm. That's Eberron. Right. Uh, I say to her in halfling, mm -hmm. uh, you're a little far from home, huh? You know, I really like to travel, and I thought Salvaggio was pretty cool. And I get to work up here. It's way cleaner than the Talenta Plain. No, it, it, it seems... The dinosaur it's... riding's fun and all, but this is cool. Yeah, the, the dinosaur cleanup when you're our size is not fun. It yeah. really isn't. Um, just a quick quick question for you, um, you know, and just sort of as a local. I, I notice some of the people here are just... Beautiful. They just have like a glow about them. Mm, What's yeah. up with that? I heard that there's this thing that they're all taking. <gasps> yeah, it's like this. It's kind of like cassava, pure what? cassava tonic, but like amplified. No. Yeah. I don't even know where to get it. You know, they don't want you to have it because you're already beautiful. They don't want you to show all of them but up. That's the thing. Apparently, people are taking it because it'll like make them look younger and like elongate their lives. What? But I. I did hear, you didn't hear this from me, uh, but yeah. Like, yeah, it costs like 200 gold pieces. 200 gold pieces? Yeah, and it's also kind of addicting. 
where is it coming? Like, where is it coming from? Even like, I mean, like, where are they getting? Because I mean, like, look at all these people got it. Like, it can't be that good. Like, I mean, there's where is a, there is a lot of people here who have who definitely look like they're on it. Hmm. Okay. I mean, I can't afford anything like that. So, but um, yeah, there's a lot of people, and this has just been happening recently too. So. I don't know. Well, I hope one day when I get older that I can afford it. Yeah, like, I mean, we just got to figure out who's holding, and then, you know, who knows, right? Okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, no, thank you. Thank you. And, <clears throat> and then back in comment, I'm like, yeah, yeah, no, that's that's super interesting. I, I didn't know at all that there was going a plan for 12 levels of the city someday. That's wow. Wow. Wait, wow. there were plans for 12 levels? Yeah, and, and then I just, like, <laughs> turn and walk away. <laughs> all right, what do you guys do? Well, I look fancy, so I'm going to mingle and gather info. All right. I'm going to accompany you because I want to uh, listen in on, perhaps, I, I have a feeling about this new stuff, and I want to listen in on what people may be talking about. Okay. I offer you my arm, even though like, you're really tired. Um, I will fly up to your arm and just hover and fly okay. so I can like yeah, go arm like in arm with you. We're going to mingle. Awesome. So, so the two of you walk into this party and people are, they're like talking about this gentleman. Um, this is just, you don't have to roll for this. Uh, Michael Stormson, this is his penthouse. Mm -hmm. They're talking about how amazing he is and how generous he's being with all the parties. And he was also a patron for a couple different people. Um, he finds artists from lower levels and he brings them up here and he what? like, kind of gets them on their way to seeing. Um, that is the casual conversation that you're overhearing that sounds important. Okay. Um, there's, like, who would you walk up to? Um, are there any people up here who are particularly glowy? There are. There's quite a few. Um, I would like to um, casually approach some of them. Awesome. So there is a dwarf and a half-elf. The dwarf uh, is wearing fancy rogues attire and an ornate dagger at his hip. And the half elf it has white pompadour hair and wears all white, except for an emerald yeah. brooch on his jacket. <laughs> come on, Dallas! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, that's who you two um, walk up to. Okay, so yeah, I just like to kind of like at an appropriate moment, just like inject ourselves into their conversation with one of those <laughs> sort of things, and uh, just it kind always of, works. It always Roll works. Performance. <laughs> performance. Okay. Never uncomfortable. Never uncomfortable. No, 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 not at all. That's a twenty-one. Nice. Mm -hmm. And they're like. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, oh. Is this your you. first time at this? Oh no, we come here every weekend. Oh, we just got an invitation from uh, from Maverick and Lawrence oh, downstairs. Maverick, yes, yes, yes. Oh, you're friends of Maverick. Yes, we oh, are. Oh, it's your first time yes. here. Yes. Oh. So what do you do? Oh, we are. Well, myself and my group, we are the uh, Razmataz Manian Devils. <laughs> Ah, we're entertaining. I feel like I feel like freely wherever he is makes the. <laughs> yeah. There's just sparkles going on behind <laughs> us every single time yep. we go in mm -hmm. here. It's, they were very impressed with our performance downstairs, and we're entertainers, and they invited us up to entertain you all. You're the entertainers. Yeah, you seem so feminine. Well, appearances can be deceiving, my dear. I am feminine, thank you very exactly. much. <laughs> but also, that means nothing. Oh, well, we were told that there was going to be a fight here. Oh. Us feminine folk are the best fighters around. Really? And they both turned And I, I look at the others like... <laughs> like <laughs> <laughs> really trying to look super cool. Razzle Paz cool. has got like six things by his hand. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. of, course, of course, look at us. <laughs> Hashtag act natural. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Well, um, we do apologize for being uh, presumptuous. Can you show us your fighty skills? 
Sure. Uh, and and like without word, like so part of her like ornate getup right now, like she's still got a, a very finely crafted rapier on her hip, and like in a flourish, she just like pulls it out and just like assumes. And I also stand. have a rapier because so it's perfect. It's like yes. And we can um, yeah. do our little rapier dance. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. Yeah. We'll just like flourish and like like we both know fencing, so we'll just hit like fencing stances mm -hmm. in, in in unison, and it's gonna look super cool. Oh, is it? I it hope is. so. I hope so. <laughs> no, I I will fly up and you know do somersaults in the air. You know as please roll. dramatic as possible. Uh, please roll performance. Yay. Can 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 I, I like I trust this triple guy combo here because Razmataz is going to pantomime also doing fencing stances mm. behind me <laughs> and like trying to you know like your immovable rod, rod stuck to your hand yeah, like <laughs> the immovable rod and then eventually he hits the button on accident and he, <laughs> and he stops <laughs> well i will say if you do that you will have disadvantage don't do that don't do that <laughs> oh i'm doing it all right uh please a disadvantage i thought this was for the triple right um, hoping this is I was so we're both rolling with disadvantage. Yeah, his immovable mm -hmm. rod goes off. <laughs> My friend, we need to have That's a talk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just tired. Well, <laughs> get some more quesada. <laughs> <laughs> we are like twinsies today. Nine. Nine. <laughs> it's, there you go. Uh, oh. <laughs> Nice. But we looked good. That we looked usually really doesn't good. happen, I promise you. It doesn't happen. Vajra, come up. We are going to change the name of this troop happened. if you continue this way. Oh, you can't come up with a better one. <laughs> <laughs> and he is for comic relief. So, it is our understanding, however, that one might be able to pro procure not only quesada, but something a little bit more potent. We would love to have a sample before we do our fight. They look at each other and they say, you know, I, we th I think I know what you're talking about. It's not something that's just given away to anyone who just asks. Hmm. And they look around the room and they, they find this gentleman. He's very, very handsome. And he's about six foot two uh, human dashing blue eyes, dark hair. Uh, he walks up as he sees his friends, and he, they say, Michael, Michael Stormson, um, these fine folk here um, are performing tonight? And he looks at you all, and he goes, oh, oh, you, you're RTD. Yes, I have heard of you. Um, and then the one that you were talking to goes, Michael, yeah, that we, guy's holding. <laughs> <laughs> we hear that you are a patron of performer, someone here in Silvato who will raise up those from the lower districts and give them opportunity to soar into the high heaven. Yes, that is why you are here. I heard that your fight was quite amazing, and I thought it would be very good for um, some new entertainment. In fact, I, I do see that there are five of you but I just need two of you for tonight's fight. Mm. To, whom yeah, shall, to whom shall we be fighting? <laughs> uh, and he points over to the other end. <laughs> pick me, pick me, pick me. He points over to the other end of the room, and you see that people are crowded around two orcs. They are also well-dressed, uh, and they seem to be doing these like magic um, uh, performance that has ma to do with magic between one another. People are applauding them very lightly. Like, um, yes, yeah, so you would be competing against those two. And if we were to win and best them in combat, what would be our reward? Oh, perhaps uh, we would let you in on some of our little secrets. Mm. Oh. Is that a promise? A, a guarantee? The, yes. Mm -hmm. We like to keep those who win very close. Those who earn their way. Fantastic. Let's shake on. No, no take back, please. No, no, no. Do not shake on it. No, do not just, shake yeah, his right. hand. <laughs> it, I just like I'm, I'm just like team huddle, team huddle. 
Yeah, he'll be sending. I mean, like, I mean, I, as the de facto leader, I think that I probably <laughs> should participate. But I've been having some ac accidents with the rod lately, <laughs> and so you are that's the only right reason now. that your, I wouldn't volunteer to fight. Your immovable dysfunction is not our problem. Whoop! You know, it's been a long week. Okay, I don't know you know, what to like, say like, to that. Right <laughs> I'm speechless. I am happy to fight, but I am also happy to lend support from the sidelines, and I'll wink. Well. You know, here's here's the thing. You know, I, I, I love you guys. I just got a little lucky. I just got up on that beholder last time, and they all saw it. Like they were, ooh ah, you know. So I mean, I'm fine, kind of root from the sidelines too. So I don't have to go. I'm happy to volunteer and take the front line. Although well, I would appreciate. I mean, it's obvious you're like a uh, you know like a, a deity or something. Of course you're gonna be out there. I mean, look at you. Savvy wants to fight. I do want to fight. All right. Together. Together. We show best then. I believe in As you both. Leader, I elect them both. Right. <laughs> it's, uh, seconded. While yeah. they're discussing this in front of Michael, um, I will flitter over to the orcs mm -hmm. and um, chat them up a bit. And when they are, I, I would like, to, oh, you know what I'm going to do? Um, I am going to, um, ooh. I don't want to make them scared of me right now, but um, no, I'm just going to distract them and, and ask about you know the decorations um, around the room. And as soon as they turn their head, I am going to unboob pocket to the vials and put it in, in their drink. It's a special concoction that I have called um, X Lax. <laughs> oh my goodness! Okay. You okay, know, we're going to hold you guys right here because this is just, I've never done this before. You know, the best part the best, <laughs> the best part of this plan is my plan involves stinking clouds. So, like, I appreciate we were of mine. Okay, so. Yeah, right. It's the pink. Mm -hmm. What we're going to do Mine here. also involves. <laughs> <laughs> so, you're going to roll a performance as you're kind of doing this little show to kind of distract them. And then we're going to roll... Stealth, and then we're going to roll sleight of hand. I know it's a lot of rolls. Okay, performance first. Mm -hmm. That is a nineteen. Mm -hmm. Okay, stealth. Stealth. Fourteen. I have mm -hmm. a plus ten to stealth. Oh wow! So that shows how terribly I roll. Okay. Um, and Wait, I rolled lower. Oh, sleight of hand. Mm -hmm. Sixteen. Awesome. So they, they're talking, you're, you're being very charming, and they're like, oh, oh. Like, oh. You see them like this, and their hands are quite steady, and you kind of do a flitter and a flick mm -hmm. and a little movement. Just pop open the cap, like, are, is that hand painted? Oh. <laughs> Probably not. Nothing here is um, touched by a human hand or a humanoid hand um, in its creation. Oh, fascinating. And then, yeah, they continue on. And casually, as you're talking, one of them takes a drink, the other one takes a drink. Um, what is this, uh, what is the scent of this? Oh, it's, it's perfectly replicated to um, mimic the looks and taste and smell of the cassava. Um, Perfect. And so, um, okay. yeah, it just, in about you know, an hour's time or so, their tummies might start grumbly. And then, who knows how long it will take. Awesome. And when, as you do that, you guys have a couple minutes as your friend has moved around and he's talking to you and like kind of reassuring you that he does keep his friends close and he means very close. Um, but then he walks out into the middle of the room and goes, Friends, wonderful friends, thank you so much for being here tonight for another one of my penthouse parties. We have an amazing show for you today. Over here we have our first contestants, or, uh, the first people who are going to be entering the ring. Uh, we have the twins, and they leave you as they like strike over and they start walking. Oh, good luck. Boo! <laughs> and you see them, uh, they grab each other's hands like this as they walk forward. And as they let go, just magic kind of comes from uh, between them. And it crackles with energy in the air. And then 
it covers them not exactly like fairy fire, but um, it, with that look. And then it goes away, and they kind of do these flourishes, and they have this um, dance that they do, almost like um, uh, like a swing dance where he spins her around. There's a male and a female orc. And they get to the middle, and they bow, and everybody applauds. And on this side of the ring, we have, did you say your name through again? I will not repeat it. <laughs> Savvy and Vajra. Savvy <laughs> and Vajra. But hailing from parts unknown. <laughs> Savvy and Vajra. Vajra. Glitter and thaumaturgy. Yes. He is the most beautiful man that has ever walked the streets of South Bada. And she turned into a rock. Or a little earlier. <laughs> and he fell means she rocks. Out of the she sky. rocks. <laughs> um, how do you two enter this uh, area? And now people have parted. Um, he's standing in the middle. On one side of him are the twins, and they look very coy. They look very confident. Um, I would like to walk forward, kind of like not quite like catwalk, but like you know, I'm you know I'm wearing this super elegant outfit with like a cape and everything. But as I reach the area where I would be standing across from one of them, I give another little twirl with my cape, and I'm wearing like like super like it looks well loved, but like still really good. It looks just like battle armor. Cool. So Vajra is holding his great rune blade, and um, as he tosses it into the air. He ignites the flame tongue action, and so as it spins, it lights into fire, and he hopefully grabs it again. <laughs> you no, know, I was going to give it to you until you said hopefully. <laughs> I just I'll play with you enough that I know. That's a two, but luckily with with athletics, it's plus seven. So. <laughs> Maybe I can't cheat with like that. Um, that is a nine. Uh, do you want to use your right, it lands, it lands into As a reaction, <laughs> Razzmatazz, Minor Illusions, a really fancy pillow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you do have Bardic Inspiration. You do. I want to save that for the fight. Nice. Nah. Right. Um, and it lands stunk into the ground, and he looks over at you. And, and I once again bow as though it was part of the plan. <laughs> uh, and so the two of you are inside of this uh, area, and you see him. He, he draws a circle in the air, and around you two is uh, two rings, two blue rings. And it seems that it definitely is separating you from everything else. And you see that there is somebody standing a little close to these rings, and their dress has been singed. Oh. Mm -hmm. Cut to our fairy friend. Your boob pocket is ringing. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> um, are you guys okay up there? I haven't heard from you in a really long time. I told you, I will call you if we need you. We're fine. Oh, she's so needy. <gasps> she is. Very high strung. Shh, shh, shh. I'm on the phone. <laughs> What's a phone? <laughs> um, my little so, tiny phone. Uh, what, what have you? What have you? Captured? It's actually a giant send. You do it for me. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> it's a Nokia. So, <laughs> <laughs> so what have you learned? Nothing yet. Well, we're getting there. Okay. Uh, if you can bring back something, I think that would be a really good idea. Yes, that is the goal here. <laughs> oh, you're actually gonna bring? Oh, we're, oh. Just yeah, get something, get proof. Yeah. Okay. We, we've got it. We're on it. All right. Okay. 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 Ding. <laughs> <laughs> Boot pocket. All right. For those of you who are outside, Razzmatazz and Freely, what are you doing as it looks like the, the four are starting to um, prepare for battle? So as I see the dress get singed, I start walking towards it and examining the rings from the outside. And then I put the things on my hand, <laughs> trying to burn the deck of cards. I probably know the immovable rod is probably not coming off, but I'm trying to like see if I can, you know, singe the things off of my hand. So you take three points of damage. Oh, and, worth it. Um, but also, yeah, it definitely melts the glue. It is glue, so it's going to just kind of uh, the rod is also going to fall to the ground. Okay. Then I pick it up. Awesome. All right. 
Yeah. The immovable rod. Free at last. Mm -hmm. right, is there seating around these rings so we can Everyone's all Everyone's standing. Everyone's standing. But we can get sort of close, just not too close. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, standing room sucks for a halfling because it's very much cross level with everybody. <laughs> uh, but, but Freely is keeping an eye out for anybody that is trying to intervene. Because uh, he thinks about trying to cheat himself, but that wouldn't be right. But if he thought it, other people are going to do it. So oh, he's I'm going to do it. Anyone around <laughs> is like casting spells or trying to do affect you want to get up on my shoulders, buddy? I do not. Good, no. because <laughs> I don't think I could hold you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm very large for a halfling. No, um, uh, what, but, but just help. Uh, wait, Raz. Oh, your hand's free, right? Yeah. Burn it right off. actually <laughs> need you to be like yourself for once. Somebody around here has a vial of the water they're siphoning up here, and if we can figure it out, and it's probably that dude whose penthouse this is, so maybe do your thing. What should I do? I don't no. know what my thing is. I feel like I have a lot of things. I no, I, okay, wait, like, no, you have, a, you have a knack for when people misplace things. I don't know, oh, you mean when they drop them? That, yes, that's what I mean. Yeah, maybe he could drop a I vial. I don't think they're going to drop a vial of this stuff. It's way too valuable. <laughs> why, why is he in our party? <laughs> why are you in my party? Why are we named <laughs> after <laughs> him? The Tasmanian devil. I mean, he, he recruits. here. Um, so you're inside of the ring. <laughs> yeah, right, so you right. lean over. You you do lean over and say this, you scream it from the other side, and you hear people laughing from the crowd. Sparkle. Rasmus has many devils. They yep. love us. Mm -hmm. I'm, I just like very much elbow him. I'm like, you know what I'm asking you to do? I gotcha. <laughs> And Raz starts walking off, <laughs> and then he turns a really bad cartwheel, and then he lands on his bum, and then he flips really slowly, like just a forward flip, and then he comes up, and then he tries to kip up, and it doesn't work really well, and then he eventually gets up, and he's just trying to be distracting and uh, get out of the thong of people. Okay, so you make your way out. And they now kind of dismiss you. They think you're just a clown. And you are That's now, um, <laughs> so everybody's kind of gathered around this ring. And you make your way to the edge, and there's a door. I go through it. The door is unlocked. And you go through the door, and there's a hallway. And in this hallway are two doors, one at the end and one on the right. Always go right. You go into the store, and it looks like an office. Oh, this looks useful. I, I look for the no file one, marked evidence. If, if, no, <laughs> if no one is in the hallway, I go into the office and return the door very, very quietly, and it probably makes a lot of noise. Roll stealth. You know when I said I was well-rounded? Uh -huh. Maybe not all the way around it. Oh, that is a 20 on the die! Oh! oh. oh. 22! The rest of you have no idea where Raz is gone, and we are going to cut to the ring. Okay. What I would like you guys to do is, I would like everyone to, i would like you two to roll initiative may i ready in action before the fight begins yeah i would like to ready haste and then go to savvy and say if you are willing i would like to cast warding bond upon you sure um, that would uh, give you uh, give us a mystic connection between us and until the spell ends where you will have plus one to ac resistance to all damage but any damage that you take i also shall shoulder that burden Yeah, that's <laughs> not like a god. Not like a. I'm okay with this. Fantastic. I consent. It's sexy. And I will ready haste for when the when the battle begins. Hey, you, you drank your thing. You should have haste. Uh, I had uh, two concentration. Oh, because right, I rolled right, the right, two. Right, right, right. I was. He's a I was, paladin. I was hoping true. for that haste. Yep. All right. My mistake. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, so the two of you, please roll me initiative. I rolled a seventeen. 
Okay. Oh boy. I also rolled a seventeen. Which of you two would like to go first? I'm gonna let Vajra go first. Fantastic. Okay, so do 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 writing things, Vajra, and then Sazzy, and then boop, and boop. Okay, so what I would like for the other group to do is roll initiative. That would be oh yeah three days. oh oh, oh okay. sorry oh twenty two nice. Okay. That right to the edge, right to the edge, but Whoa. it held on there. Uh, that is going to be. I had some plans. <laughs> oh, that's a high roll. Nah. Uh, oh, sorry. Next one. I got a five. Right. Oh, <laughs> I rolled an initiative, but I got 18 on both dice. Uh, 23. <laughs> what did you get? 22. All right. Okay. What I do? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta one up me, literally. All right, <laughs> literally. Okay, so we're going to go the ring, and then we're going to do everyone else in the orders that we have you. Mm -hmm. All right. So, the owner of this penthouse says, "If you're ready, let's begin." And you hear this bell go off. Bow, 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 bow. And everyone yeah, starts cheering. Yeah, yeah like that. Best NPCs ever. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Bajra, you are up first. Uh, fantastic. Can you describe our two assailants, our two opponents? Mm -hmm. They are orcs. They look very intelligent. And um, they are dressed in a long leathers with the green interiors, and it's like black on black, very cool, fine leathers. Kind of like, honey, when we go shopping online. Oh, like yeah. that, yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, one is a male, one is female, and they look at each other like um, like they're in love. Do either of them look like, uh, does one look like melee and another a caster? What, what are their they armaments? They both are casters. They both are casters. Mm. Um, fantastic. I will cast Hunter's Mark upon the female, um, giving me... Uh, advantage either to find her and an additional d6 of damage when I attack her. Um, I then will, for my first action, misty step. Uh, I first will raise my sword, then misty step exactly behind her, and then strike from, hopefully from advantage, oh, from nice. striking from behind her. Ooh. Awesome. Let's Fancy. do it. Da -da 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 Dramatic music. Okay. Do the thing. Am I attacking at an advantage from uh, attacking her from the rear? Um, no. No. Okay. Uh, that is a five on the die, uh, plus an additional seven to attack. So seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Um, I will roll my Bardic Inspiration. <laughs> this would be a good time for that. 15, uh, 15 to hit. Oh, baby. I know, not quite, oh, huh? Well, yeah. so then uh, first hit whiffs. Luckily, I have, I have uh, two attacks, so I will attack again. Mm -hmm. That is a natural one. I know oh, what that means. No. Okay. So, Tell how you hate so shall I? How how much First of? First, you have to roll the damage. Uh, Wait, how you much of? <laughs> <laughs> how how much? In in it. So how how am I hurting myself? Am I hurting myself with a great sword? Because that it is current. Whatever your hit was going. To okay. Be. All right. So that is going to be uh, so two. You don't have to smite her. Yeah, I won't. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So that is as two d six for the sword itself, and then it, because it is a a uh, flame tongue sword, that is an additional two d six. Wow. Yeah, it, I know. So six, seven, eight, nine, You're ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, <laughs> oh, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen <laughs> points of damage. Wow. Okay. I mean, seventeen you points of damage. Seventeen points of damage. If you're really ashamed of it. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I envision, I envision this occurring where Vajra cast Bane, uh, or uh, cast, cast his, uh, his spell, Misty steps, goes to strike, misses the first one, then for some reason tries to go again to swing around, but instead hits himself in the head with his own flaming sword. Um, why this occurs, we're not quite sure. However, it hurts him dearly. Lull him into a false sense of security, buddy. Doing my best. <laughs> All right, is that the end of your turn? Yeah, I think so. I think that's, that's, that's good enough for right now. All right. Okay. Uh, I got to follow that up. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to move in uh, because even though Vajra 
with that a little bit, he's still adjacent to this particular opponent of mine, so I'm going to go ahead and try to stab her with my rapier. Mm -hmm. Whee! You move in. I do move in, and that is a 23 to hit. All right. Yeah, that hit. All right, that's going to be an amount of damage that equates to, because I get sneak attack. Math and science. Math and science. Give me those d6s, baby. 19 plus 13, that's 32 points of damage. Yeah, Jenna. that's what I'm talking about. As I use her momentary WTF-ness at Vajra to just kind of like get her right in the calves. Nice. And um, with my bonus action, I will uh, disengage and out. Okay, I'll say that if you went for the calves, mm -hmm. you like do some pretty intense damage to her left leg, mm. and she starts to falter. That was a lot of damage to do at once. Good job. Okay, so she is going to turn around and look at you and go, Ha! You tried to damage an MFC fighting champion. I mean, I think I did damage an MFC And she is going to uh, cast a spell. Okay. And please make me a con save. A con save? Okay. This is going to be fun. It's probably not going to save. That's a 12. Mm -hmm. You have Bardic Inspiration also. I do have Bardic Inspiration. However, I'm going to let this one go through. Uh, you grow smaller. <gasps> I've been minute. tiny. Wait, what's yes. so wrong about that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you are now I small. Wish I was there. Okay. And let's see, I'm going to read the details of this. I want to get it right. Now I can lift you are, up. You are yeah. halved in all dimensions, and your weight is reduced to one eighth of normal. Okay. Um, hey, uh, this reduction <laughs> decreases your size by one category, medium to small. Okay. Your, tar your target's weapons also shrink. Mm -hmm. Weapons are reduced. Target's attacks with them deal 1d4 less damage. Okay. All right, so that's what she does to you. Okay. Um, the other one is going to make three attacks against Vajra. And um, this is going to be two with a scimitar, and you see um, a whip come out from the other side. Ooh. All right, so here we go, honey. I'm ready. Okay. Oh, yes. Use my sapphire. Okay, so we've got two attacks. One's a natural 20. Oh. Oh, sorry, honey. <laughs> 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 okay, so that is going to be, uh, let's see, 14, 14, 18 plus uh, 14 poison. Can you be poisoned? Uh, yes, I can. I cannot be diseased. 18 plus 14 is 32 points of damage. And then the second attack is going to be a dirty 20. Uh, that does not hit. I have, I have 20, 20, uh -oh. 22 AC. Oh my gosh, I'm because so sorry, of honey. I do more damage to you than I thought I was going to. <laughs> all right. Oh, okay. it's awful. It's unbearable. All right, I'm going to re-roll. So you did not take 32. You might take less, though. Okay, that is going to be so five. Okay, that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then four more. And then four. All right, seven, 11, four, seven, plus four. 25! 25! 25. Yes. My yeah. failure is your benefit. Okay, so um, that was two, and then the whip is going to uh, swing at you, and that is going also to be an H, so this whip dances around you, cracks! And then we are going to, as that fails, uh, we are going to our friends off the table. Okay, we have Freely. What do you do? They're losing badly. <laughs> is, but is, do I see any sign that anybody's intervening, or is no. this just going the way it is? People are hooting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, but I, I know, I know Oleander. I know she's she's about to do something. Okay, uh, it it would be it would be ungentlemanly of me to intervene. Okay, um, 
you say there's a um, uh, balcony mm -hmm. in in like one one main entrance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So main entrance, balcony, door, door, kitchen. Um. I think it's time for a distraction. <laughs> um, on Ooh. the other side of the so between the people and the door. Um, actually, no. I want to try and force people to the door. So outside of the fighting ring, I'm going to drop a stinking cloud on the crowd. <laughs> 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 Not on the fight, on the crowd. All yeah. Right. Um, Which yeah. they have you to do that. Yeah, wisdom, and... wisdom, or con sixteen, or become violently ill. Oh my! Wait, 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 wait! <laughs> I'm in this. I well, I'm in the front well, of the crowd. Well, so. I, my my intent is to like basically make people start leaving. Is, is the goal. I'm not dropping it on the fight. I'm not, yeah, I'm to make people start departing the oh boy. Party's over. A half of that just rolled a one. <laughs> oh. They start, oh, I don't even, this is like one of my things. It's so gross. Late night. So, um, late night action. <laughs> uh, they start hurling on each other oh. and other, and it's just like contagious and it's like, mm, mm, mm. oh. And the other people are like, oh gosh. And they start going, some go towards the balcony. Some are going off now. I would like everyone in the ring, you cannot not experience what is happening. Uh, please make oh, me no. con save. <laughs> it's, it's 20 feet tiny. You, you, no. you have a plus two oh, if you're near me. Jesus. Oh, no. you, you, have a, you have at least have a plus two. Mistakes have been made. <laughs> um, the owner of the establishment starts uh, vomiting as well. Oh, no. That, that's good. That's part of the plan. Okay. 20. Oh no! No! Oh no! Oh, wow. uh, so you, you little, just <laughs> you just hurl right on that girl who now is also has rolled um, like a sick child a five, and the two of you are <laughs> oh, now no. holding each other. Oh no! And, it's college all over again. And you uh -huh. just like, she's stopped trying to attack you. Yeah, and no. She's just holding you, and the two of you are just and she's starts drunk crying. girls in college. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he's he's like doing his own thing. He looks at at Vajra, and he looks at the two of you, and he's like, and he throws up against the the ring, and it just singes. Oh, oh. Gross. Huh. <laughs> um, does she start feeling the other side coming? Oh, no, right. oh, you got to come in. I'm sorry. I would like to make a, a slight correction to this. I am immune to poison. I automatically succeed the saving throw. I'm good. Oh, you're good. She's but crying. she's vomiting on you. She's, she's crying too. So now I'm, I'm just holding her. Like, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> okay. So that happened. Half of the party is it's just, I mean, I mean the party, not our right. party. It's just chaos out there. Oh, no. People How terrible. Screaming. Who could have done this? People are crying. <laughs> people are trying to help each other. The waiters are losing it. They're just like, oh. And people are trying to, like, press and digitate. And you just see these little tufts of it. <laughs> uh, you see the, the fog just, like, it's just emanating. And then this breeze from outside happens, and it starts to spread a little bit. And uh, people are starting to move around. And some people are slipping on the ground. It is not oh. good. Congratulations, you ruined the party. And people are now starting to leave. Uh, what are you doing? I'm a folk hero. Well, now everything has changed, and now I feel just terrible. Are they still fighting? Or? No, the, the opponents are now not in a good place. Um, as well as the... Um, yeah, well, now I feel I'm not going to do what I was going to do, um, which was cool. Um, but um, instead, I'm going to wonder where uh, where Raz went, and um, I will, above the cloud, <laughs> fly down and try and check out um, the, that back door where I saw him doing his tumbly bumbly you know, BS. Easy enough. You go through there, you open the door, there's a hallway, there's a door on the right, door straight forward, and everyone's distracted. Um, I, and can, did he, did you leave the door open to the door? You no, he closed it. You closed it? Um, mm -hmm. well, um, I am not going to use, uh, my, my player knowledge here, and I will take the door to the left. So that's uh, what so I So there's a door to the right, and oh, I will go down. straight. Okay. You go it's forward, and you are now in a bedroom. Uh, it, there's mm -hmm. uh, open, oh, yeah. massive walk-in closet, a mahogany canopy bed. 
And there's a balcony overlooking the city. Um, I'm going to assume that this is Michael's bedroom, and um, and I'm alone. Yes. Uh -huh. So I will um, go through his uh, dresser drawers and nightstand drawers. I was really hoping that somebody would do that. Oh no! What you find here is each drawer is for a different set of women's lingerie and belongings. In oh, sizes. anything that would fit me. There is a drawer for uh, oh. small creatures. Oh, I will. You're tiny though, right? Um, no, I'm just small. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's um, nice lingerie. So. Yeah, I will um, boob pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Like that's really good, and um, but I am looking for obviously a vial of something. Mm -hmm. um, you do see a small stash of a couple of vials, mm -hmm. um, and the inside it looks like the it looks like it is okay. Tonic, a tonic, tonic. Where is my tonic? Uh, there it is. You see a small box that says Elixir of the Gods, and it's in an elaborate silver vial studded with emeralds. Ooh. And you see that there is a green emblem on it that is a, a mask. Hmm. This looks right to me. Um, I will take that, and um, really quickly, I will. I forgot I put this here to remind myself. And there are three the of them. Oh, I take them all. Mm -hmm. And oh, oh, but hmm. I'm going to open one of them and put it, oh, I will down my vial. Okay. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna down my vial and open one of them, pour it into that vial, okay? Reclose it, take the other two, but I'm gonna replace, um, I'm gonna put one of them in my pocket so it looks, in case I'm caught, mm -hmm. this just looks like my normal stuff. All right, right? Cool. And then I will, sending stone, I got it. Oh, good thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Raz uh, knows none of that's going on. So he starts uh, probably pretty loudly rustling through drawers in the office, <laughs> anything that All he can right. find. Roll me investigation. He's so well-rounded and so good at that one. Too. <laughs> I hope you find lingerie as well. I do too. <laughs> He's already wearing tights. Uh, 21. <laughs> 21, that's awesome. You find you. behind a bookshelf is a secret door. And in this mm. secret door is a room. And in this room, there is an emerald cloak, an emerald mask, and a book with a symbol of a green mask that sits on the wall. When you get closer, it says, the Emerald Cabal System. I told you this was bad for marketing. <laughs> and I take it all and put it on. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> All right, so with five minutes left, <laughs> I will have each one of us and each one of you go down the line and say what you were doing in this moment. We might go over five minutes. Sorry. Are you um, all okay with five minutes? Okay. All right, so. No pumpkins. <laughs> uh, top of the round, Vajra. Uh, Vajra will use a lay on of hands um, and he will dump 40 points into himself and five of them will heal his poison. Um, upon seeing this and seeing the situation, um, he will go over to Savvy and say, is the fight over? Are we done here? Uh, to that point, Savvy is, has sat the female org down. She's like pulled her hair back into a ponytail and she's just like <laughs> comforting her even though, has, is it kind of safe to say that she may have lost concentration and I'm normal size by now? <laughs> yes. Okay, so yeah, normal size, like I've pulled her hair back. I'm just kind of like, I'm really sorry that I shanked you in the calf. It's okay, it's okay. Like, I it's really It's totally don't. okay because, you know, like this is just, I mean, we're going to drink some more, uh, you know, tonic, and, yeah. and we'd be fine. It's just a competition. We're not like trying to kill anyone. No, 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 I'm definitely not you know, trying I got to some cool definitely... tricks up my sleeve, and I work really hard to be able to I do like magic you. and melee. You don't I, know how hard it is. I believe you. Look, all I do is stab things and run away. I get it. I get it. <laughs> I get it so much. I mean, who does that in a party like this? I don't know. Somebody really weird. I just, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, so yeah, the two of you are now just We're like bonding. bonding over being fighters. Um, what would the two of you like to do right now as this kind of calmed down? You see that Michael is, he's just 
vomiting, and you see the rings go zzz, 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 and fall. I'll, I'll go to Michael and say, well, the other two have conceded we are your champions now. <laughs> you know, I, I think this was just a very bad idea in the first place. I did not take enough precautions. I thought those um, lightning rings Seems were going like to be fun. Seems like you need a personal bodyguard and entourage. We at the RPD would love to help and assist you in that endeavor. You know, that's not a quite not a bad idea, but I, I do think I need to talk to my people before we start just bringing anyone up here. Charm person. No. <laughs> he needs hmm. to be to 16. Although I do very much, I'm like, winner by submission. <laughs> <laughs> uh, roll me stealth. Uh, 19. Uh, what? So you did what now? Charm, charm person. Charm person. What level is that? Uh, he needs to... Um, well, the, for a single target, the spell is only level 1. If I cast it higher, I just hit more people. Uh, and it's wisdom 16. He theory. pops up and goes and uh, counterspells it. Oh. I see. I mean, he... Oh. Seems like a bit much. I was just trying to be friends, man. I think... I think you guys should just go. I, I think I think now is the time you guys just left. I think you said on pain of death that you would give us our winning. You gave us your word. That's supposed to mean something. Are you the type of person that does not keep your word? No, no, you were right. You were right. I, sh I shall keep my word. Um, he, I, I need to clean up here. And he writes uh, something down on a paper, and then he puts, he like licks his thumb, and, and it sears into the paper. Mm -hmm. Take this to uh, to level to floor number eight, and um, and just wait there for me. And it'll they'll put you in a room. I just I just need to clean this up. I just press to digitate him. I'm like, no, you look good. Now this is oh, just just stop. This is buff right out. No, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what happened. That was weird. Meanwhile, me and me and the or, the, the the lady orc, like I'm trying to like usher her. Like I see the ring fizzle. I'm like ushering her out. Like I'm just like, let's go. We're gonna we're gonna take care of this. We're gonna get you cleaned up. It's gonna be okay. Do you, do you know how hard it is to get in this level? It's really hard. We should yeah. we should just. I don't know how long we have here. When they're gonna kick us out? But you wanna go drinking? Sure. Cool. And right. um, the two of you just go. Yeah. You're just gone. And he's like, wait, what? And he, the husband follows you guys out. Okay. Uh, so you are going to go drinking. Great. Go drinking. Okay. Unicorn. So the two of you, what are you doing in this moment? I think we go and, and try to collect the rest of our group. Um, oh, they, you don't see them. I'm mean, like, let's go get this thing because it's super a trick. He's going to put them in a ring and put us in the room. They're going to try and kill us. We're going to kill all of them and then, like, we'll do something else. It's fine. Aggressive negotiations. Aggressive Fantastic. negotiations. Yeah. <laughs> but, hey, 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 buddy. Fuchsia fighters. <laughs> the fuchsia fighters go down to floor number eight. Spin off. And it's a really, you get escorted into a really nice room. I mean, it's real nice. It's like Vegas style, like penthouse Vegas. And uh, you wait there for about an hour, and he will come down, and uh, he'll give you an address of where you can go in the next couple days and meet up with some people, and he gives you a 1,000 gold pieces. I was about to say, this. was this a meeting about a meeting? Oh, okay, no, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's go, got it. And so that's where we're going to... We'll just say, the moment Freely can tip off the, the uh, rebellion about that there's going to be a drop at that place at that time, he does it. Perfect. So. <laughs> okay, the two of you... I uh, will say that you exit the hallway at the same time. Oh. Raz has the full regalia on. <laughs> Why is this always the dynamic between you and I? <laughs> like every game, I'm like, I don't want to be anywhere near this guy. <laughs> oh, it's you. Oh, it's you. Let's uh, let's go. We're... Very well. Let's okay. do it. And he starts walking, and, and he gets to the door, and he bursts it open, and it moves in slow mo. And he is walking with his cloak oh. and all of it. And he can cast command 14 times. <laughs> and so he is just going to go, Neil! <laughs> <laughs> Q! Oh, you're already doing that. Oh, 
<laughs> what is going on with this place? Defecate! And just, <laughs> oh walking. no. I think he's going way too slow and we need to get out of here before I am caught. So I will fly ahead and then behind me keep casting lightning lure. <laughs> lightning lure. <laughs> lightning lure. <laughs> and just dragging him behind me. <laughs> um, it seems that Michael... I'll, I'll bring you within not, not exactly five feet of me, so you're not taking the damage. I'm just dragging you. I mean, one of those 14 commands probably goes on you then at some point. <laughs> we need to get out. It seems that Michael is not in this room, and he has gone to another room in order to do the things that he needed to do for you, gentlemen. And the two of you, with your 14 commands and your lightning lures, make your way out with a bunch of other people who are running. Mm -hmm. And uh, congratulations, you make it back to Alice with this information. And she says, the Echo Cabal. And that's where we're going to end tonight's adventure. You have to save something for the sequel. I really want to thank you guys for being here. And thank you all for being here in the audience. Uh, it's been an awesome two days. It's a pleasure to be back at Gamehole Con. Yeah. Uh, we have one more day of Gamehole Con, but this is the last day of our Demiplane stream. I want to thank Demiplane. Thank you so much for doing this. It's so mm -hmm. wonderful. You guys are, do a wonderful job of connecting gamers together. And uh, the matchmaking service, mwah, very beautiful. I use Demiplane at least once a week, if not twice. And I know a lot of other people do too. So thank you for what you do. Uh, Adam, you're wonderful. Thank you for being a part of this and inviting all of us here. And B. Dave, thank you also. And congratulations for joining the Demiplane team. Peter, you're right there. I see you. Peter, the man <laughs> behind the man behind the curtain. He's watching all of us. And thank you guys all for donating to Extra Life. This is so important that we keep this charity movement going every single year. It's always important. And if you can't donate, please share it. You know, our voice, every voice matters, and um, every share matters, and every dollar matters. So thank you so much for being a part of this awesome, awesome event. And with that, I think that's a wrap on our Demi Plane live stream at Game Hole Con 2020. Woo! Woo! Yeah.